Okay. Right. So all of you, question number 81. A tobacco plant heterozygous for albinism, which is a recessive character, is self-pollinated and 1200 seeds are subsequently germinated. How many seedlings will have the dominant gene? Uh, tobacco plant heterozygous for albinism. Capital A, small a is self-pollinated. So capital A, small a into capital A, small a. So sir, is this the concept gametes banenge? Capital A, small a, capital A, small a. And what will be the offspring? Capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, small a, small a. Now the question is, this is four of them. So three out of four are having dominant allele, capital A. The dominant gene, capital A, is found in 3 out of 4. So they have asked, 1200 seeds are germinated. How many will have dominant gene? So 1200 into 3 upon 4 will be a total of 900 seeds will have in the capital A gene. So how many plants will have, seedlings will have dominant gene? 900 out of 1200. Then 82, the gametes produced by a single heterozygous yellow ringlet seed plant, gametes from single heterozygous yellow wrinkled seed plant. Yellow is dominant, but wrinkled is recessive. So especially from the gametes banenge, capital Y, small r, and small y, small r. So how many types of gametes are produced? Two. Capital Y, small r, and small y, small r. 83, an individual heterozygous for two alleles, capital A, small a, capital B, small b, produces two million sperm. How many of the sperms will have both recessive alleles? Capital A, small a, capital B, small b, is this a gametes considering a? Capital A, capital B, capital A, small b, small a, capital B, and small a, small b. These are the four gametes. The question is asked, there are 2 million sperms and out of 2 million sperm, how many of these will have both recessive alleles? So both recessive alleles, small a, small b are 1 out of 4. 1 out of 4 are with both recessive alleles. So out of 2 million, 0.5 million sperm will have small a, small b, in other words, both recessive alleles. So next question, 0.5 million will have both recessive alleles. 84, the haploid number of chromosomes in garden pea plant 7, n is to 7, and diploid number is 14, 2n is to 14. When there is, therefore, a diploid plant containing n is to 7 paternal and n is to 7 maternal chromosome, now during meiosis, what exactly will happen? During meiosis, what will happen? Sir, seven pairs of chromosomes are there. Either there is a chromosome number one, either there is a chromosome number one. Either there is a chromosome number two, either there is a chromosome number two. Three, three, four, four. Five, five, six, six. Seven, seven. Any combination, any chromosome will go. So, sir, some seven maternal, seven paternal. And independent assortment will what will happen? Maternal, paternal, maternal, paternal, maternal, paternal, maternal. Or Yangaya paternal, maternal, paternal, maternal, paternal, maternal, paternal. So what has happened? Each daughter cell receives seven chromosomes showing a random mixture of maternal and paternal chromosomes. Each daughter cell may kya jayega? Maternal, paternal, maternal, paternal, paternal, maternal, paternal, maternal. Random mixture of chromosomes will go. What is that called as law of independent assortment? So that is called as law of independent assortment. 85. Dihybrid ratio necessarily is used for explanation of answer law of independent assortment. Monohybrid ratio will give you law of dominance, law of segregation, quality of gametes. Dihybrid ratio is for law of independent assortment. 86. 
in a dihybrid ratio, the proportion of new phenotypic combination and parental phenotypic combination is new phenotypes are 3 and 3, 6, parental phenotypes are 9 and 1, 10. So, what's your logic? 6 is to 10, in other words, 3 is to 5. So, what is the ratio of new phenotype to parental phenotype? 6 is to 10, in other words, 3 is to 5. A plant with capital A, small a, capital B, small b composition on cell pollination results in which of the following genotypic frequencies among the dominant phenotypes? Sir, how many will be capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B? One. How many will be capital A, small a, capital B, small b? Four. How many will be capital A, capital A, capital B, small b, 2? And how many will be capital A, small A, capital B, capital B, these two? So, what is the ratio we get? 1 capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, 2 capital A, capital A, small b, capital B, small b, 2 capital A, small A, capital B, capital B, and 4 are capital A, small a, capital B, small b. So what's your answer? 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4. 88. In Mendelian experiments in the F2 progeny of dihybrid cross, double recessives are obtained in the proportion of. How many are double recessive obtained? 1 out of 16. 1 out of 16, small y, small y, small r, small r, 1 out of 16. 89. A woman with blue eyes marries a man with brown eyes and who is heterozygous for the given trait. What is the chance that their first child will have brown eyes? Woman is having blue eyes and man is having brown eyes. So man is brown but he is heterozygous for brown. And brown is dominant over blue and he marries the woman with blue eyes. So capital B, small b into small b, small b. What is this an example of a test cross? So test cross, 50% will become brown eyes, 50% will become blue eyes. It's an example of a test cross. So 50% will be brown eyes, 50% will be blue eyes. And 90, when two unrelated individuals or lines are crossed, Performance of the F1 hybrid is often superior to both its parents. This phenomenon of genetic superiority is called as heterosis. So, when two individuals are cross-pollinated, cross-pollination se jo individuals aate hai, are genetically superior. Arasar had taught that in reproduction in plants, that cross pollination makes a plant genetically superior. What is that phenomenon scientifically called as? That is called as heterosis. Genetic superiority due to cross pollination is called as heterosis. Yeah, yeah. Nice question. Then, 91. If two pea plants have red dominant colored flowers with unknown genotypes of cross, 75% flowers are red and 25% are white. What is the genotypic constitution of the parents having red color flowers? Uh, both are heterozygous. So, so if two plants have red dominant color flowers with unknown genotypes of cross, two plants with red flowers, unknown genotypes of cross, and 75% capital R small r, capital R small r into capital R small r. What will we get? 75% will become red and 25% will become white. In other words, what is this an example of a monohybrid test cross? So what is the genotypic constitution of both parents? Both are heterozygous for red color. 92. Mendel's principle of segregation means that germ cells always receive one of the two pairs of alleles. A germ cell will always receive one of the two pairs of allele called as law of segregation and purity of gas. 93. A polygenic trait is controlled by three genes A capital, B capital and C capital 
इन अक्रॉस कैपिटल ए स्मॉल ए कैपिटल बी स्मॉल बी कैपिटल सी स्मॉल सी इन टू कैपिटल ए स्मॉल ए कैपिटल बी स्मॉल बी कैपिटल सी स्मॉल सी द फिनोटैपिक रेशियो ऑफ द ऑफस्प्रिंग वॉज ऑब्जर्व आज वन इज टू सिक्स इज टू एक्स इज टू ट्वेंटी इज टू एक्स इज टू सिक्स इज टू वन वट इज द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स आई एम श्योर वी रिमेंबर फिफ्टी इन पॉलिशनिक इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ स्किन कलर what did we get sir 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1 so what is x over here 50 94 test crosses when f1 is crossed with the homozygous recessive pair when f1 or f2 generation is crossed with homozygous recessive parent that is called as a test cross 95 a dihybrid ratio of test cross One is to one is to one is to one proves that F2 hybrid produces four different progenies. In option A, please make it F2 hybrid, not F1, but F2 hybrid produces four different progenies in the ratio of one is to one is to one is to one. So what ratio? Uh, we get say tall, tall red, dwarf white. We get four different progenies. Uh, we have tall and red, tall and white, dwarf and red, dwarf and white in the ratio of one is to one is to one is to one. So that is a dihybrid test cross ratio. That is it. The F1 generation is all tall, and F2 ratio is three is to one. What does appearance of three is to one prove? Law of segregation and purity of gametes. Appearance of tallness in F1 generation proves law of dominance. Reappearance of recessive character in F2 generation proves law of segregation and purity of gametes. 97. Multiple phenotype is seen in pleiotropism. If you remember HBS, HBS in sickle cell anemia, HBS, HBS produces death, lethargy. HBS, HBA. Heterozygous condition produces anemia in which you have oxygen deficiency. HB S H B A also develops sickle cell carrier which is resistant to malaria. So, a key gene H B S with another H B S produces sickle cell anemia death. With H B S with H B A produces carrier state in which person is anemic and produces. Resistance to malaria. So, what is HB as an example of a pleiotropic gene? One gene producing multiple phenotypes. Ninety-eight. How many pairs of contrasting characters in seed coat were chosen by Mendel? Two contrasting characters. कौन से वाले थे वो? A round seed coat and wrinkled seed coat and coloured seed coat and white seed coat. Round dominant over wrinkled, coloured seed coat dominant over round uh, over white seed coat. So, colour of seed coat and shape of seed coat. Two contrasting characters. Ninety-nine. Mendel performed experiments on garden pea plant, Pisum sativum. Hundred. In Pisum sativum, which of the following traits is dominant? White flower is recessive. Green seeds is recessive. Yellow pods is recessive, inflated pods is dominant, and we ended with a nice number 101. In a dihybrid cross, F2 generation shows four different types of phenotypes and nine different types of genotypes. In what ratio? One is to two is to two is to four is to one is to two is to one is to two is to one. So, how many types of genotypes? Nine types of genotypes and four different types of phenotypes. Fine. So, we have done till hundred and one. All of you, please see to it that you revise all these numericals properly. Next session, we will finish all the remaining questions, and after that, we will start with a new chapter. So, please go through all these numericals properly. Get everything sorted out. and i will see you in the zoom session for any doubts if you have okay god bless you take care